Hello guys and welcome back to another Battlefield update video. Update number two patch notes are out now and I'm going over every change made in the update that will be going live at some point in the next 12 hours or so. Let's not waste any time then and we can see what has changed in update 0.2.2. So bullet spread has been reduced in all weapons except shotguns, and this should result in better accuracy during gameplay. Increase the PP-29's vertical recoil to ensure that the weapon does not overperform when engaging outside of its intended combat range. Resolved an issue where players who were killed close to obstacles such as walls or water were unable to be revived. Resolved instances where players were stuck in a down state and unable to respawn. They've also introduced a hidden timer that will activate after 30 seconds of being downed, so that will force players to redeploy should it happen. For the MD-540 Nightbird, mounted 20mm cannons. They've reduced the radius at which bullets do damage upon impact and decreased their splash damage. So they've reduced splash damage radius size from 3 to 2 and reduced inner blast radius from 1.5 to 0.75. For the Super Hokum's 30mm cannon, they've also reduced overall damage and range at which bullets do full damage, while increasing the overall bullet spread. So, reduced blast radius from 2 1.6, blast damage from 20 to 14, they've reduced bullet damage before damage falloff from 18 to 15, reduced damage falloff of distance from 200 to 2 180, reduced bullet damage max falloff distance from 8 to 6, and increased bullet range and spread. For both the Super Hokum and the Warchief 30mm cannons, they're reducing the radius at which bullets do damage upon impact and decreasing their splash damage. So they've reduced splash damage from 20 to 18 and increased the damage fall off for enemies that are further away from the bullet impact center. Next, they've reduced overall damage of the minigun for all land vehicles alongside bullet damage drop off now starting earlier. So reduced bullet damage before damage fall off from 18 to 13, so that's quite significant. Reduced damage fall off distance from 60 to 40, and reduced bullet damage at max fall off distance to 6. Equipment armor type for the hovercraft has been adjusted, which increases its vulnerability against different weapon types. So, still no fix on it being able to climb up buildings and stuff like that, but hopefully, a player should be able to destroy them much easier. The battlefield portal, the UAV 1, the UAV 1 has been re enabled within the portal and greatly reduced its health regeneration delay and speed. They've also increased missile damage against vehicles and infantry, and the drone is now able to roadkill enemies. Breakthrough matches will now correctly end after the last sector has been captured. Resolved an issue that caused players queued for a match in Battlefield Portal to be sent back to the menu instead of joining the match when a slot became available. And last but not least guys, made general improvements to stability to prevent rare occurrences of games crashing. So that is it for this one guys, the next update which is the big one, update 3, which has over 225 changes, will be going live next week and I'm going to cover those changes throughout the week instead of making one like 20 minute patch note video when the update is out, but I'll of course still make a video when the update does eventually drop. So check them out by liking and subscribing for straight to the point battlefield news and updates and I will see you guys next time.